Gustav, io non c'entro, non posso pensare di fare tutto il viaggio così. Cioè, come ti è venuto in mente di prendere questa vecchia città? Ma dobbiamo, dobbiamo centrare, vedrai che c'entri. Ma cioè, deve essere c'entri? un viaggio reale. Ma un viaggio reale, ma in treno, Gustav. Oppure... Ma in treno non è la stessa cosa. Gustav, però devi un po' correre, se no non arriveremo mai da George Clooney. Ma c'è il limite di 30, non posso correre. Traveling around the world with our previous film, Southern Last Winter, we realized that uh, whenever we go, we met Italians, usually young Italians of our generation, even younger. And uh, so we realized if they are here, that means they are not at home, they are not in Italy. And that's a problem because we miss them. We, we, we need of young people in Italy because the country has been owned by old people, very conservative, you know. If we want to become more progressive, of course we need of a progressive view on society. And if you are young, you have a progressive view, but if you are old, usually you are not. So uh, that was the starting point. And then there was this anniversary. Last year, on 2011, it was the 150 years anniversary for Italy. So we want to play with the fact that we are not uh, very good in patriotism. We are not very protective with our own country. We just complain, we hate. Since someone else from outside says something bad, so we realize that's offend us. So we, we find out we are a little bit patriotic. So we want to play with the idea that from outside uh, they still have uh, an idea on Italy connected with his own glorious past, uh, with the cliché, you know, Sofia Loren, Fellini, Cinecittà, the Mocha Bialetti. But for us, uh, as internal, all of those stuff are nothing. They are inspired because, I mean, Sofia Loren is now very old and Fellini is dead uh, and the Mocha moved to Romania. So it's ridiculous to, to connect all of those icons with Italy because situation is very changed. Ma ora perché ti sei fermato? C'è il semaforo rosso. Ah, Gustav, ma ancora non hai capito? In Italia la segnaletica la devi interpretare più un suggerimento, non è capito un, un'imposizione. The film is humorous and you, you mix in a bit of stills, animation and things like that. How did you choose the style? Probably because it's the only way we know. I mean, we don't consider ourselves uh, like real director or documentarist. We respect them so much. So we play with the language we like. Uh, I mean, we, we, we have irony, thanks God, and it's our way to see the, the world. Uh, we can't take too much seriously nothing, which is a problem in some way, but uh, can help. And maybe that's because we are Italian. Maybe that's why Italians survive to all of those problems, because of, of this irony, this way to, to handle serious stuff in a way can be comic or dramatic, the mix, of, like the, the, the tradition of the Italian cinema, they always been sweet, sour, comedy, you know, topic very dramatic but with the comedian and with irony, so the only way we know. Veramente incredibile come a 500 metri dalla bruttezza c'è la bellezza assoluta. Eh ma l'Italia è così giusta, ti devi concentrare sulle cose belle altrimenti non se ne esce. Wherever we go, the people want to know more about Italy. There is a lot of affection for Italy, there is a lot of curiosity. And uh, I think that's the only reason, because it's always sold out, even before the festival it starts. So that's why, because uh, watching the catalogue, maybe people think, oh, Italy, love it a little, that's a nice title. And uh, now the film has been released on theater in Australia. It's going to be released in New Zealand, in Canada, in, in Germany yesterday. So it's, uh, it works. I don't know. I was very, very skeptical. I was very worried about the second film. 
But now I'm worried about the third one. <laughs> now I'm very terrified about the idea to make a third one. So it takes time. We are looking for an idea, but we didn't find yet, so we'll see.